Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deal with the margins around your tables and the way the text is laid out. So let's say, for example, I wanted to place a table in between these two lines here. So I've just placed my cursor, go up to the Insert tab, go along to the table icon, click on the drop down, and I'm just going to select a random number of rows and columns. And as you can see, what's happened is my table's been inserted, but the spacing between my text and my table is very, very narrow. But also, if I make my table smaller, let's just move it up and down, just grab that square in the corner there, let's just move it down. What you can also see is the text is very tight to this side as well. The way in which we deal with this is to go up to Layout, go along to Properties, and then you'll have this dialog box. Go down to this button here called Positioning, click on it, and here you can deal with all the positioning that you need to with regards to your table. So here the position deals with the actual placement of your table within your document, so whether you want it aligned to the left, the right or the centre, etc. And also whether it's relative to the margin or to the page or column. And then if you go down to distance from surrounding text, here you can select how far away your text is from your table. So here you can just input your value if you want to, or you can use these up or down arrows. So what I'm going to do is put one centimetre in. And then left or right, I can also put one centimetre in here as well. And then you have the options to move with the text and allow overlap. So moving with the text just means that when you move your table, the text will move around your table. Once you're happy, just click OK and click OK again. Now when you move your table, you'll see that the text always stays a centimetre away from your table. Now, of course, if this doesn't work for you, you can go ahead and change those different values if you want to. Obviously, if your table's a little bit smaller and you want to include a little bit more text to the right-hand side, then you can adjust this margin as you see fit. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.